So you know how I was uh, trying to get better at the commentary thing, you know, I'm really trying to improve on how I do this thing and how my, how the quality of the content is, and I think that I'm kind of getting there, but I'm not quite there yet. So this is some uh, very early footage, like two weeks ago by now maybe, maybe one week ago, but definitely over spring break, which is I think about two weeks ago even. But this was... Uh, Early, early uh, gameplay, right? Yeah, this is a uh, Battlefield 3 PC footage for all of you console fans out there. And this is uh, one of the earlier games. Close Quarters, Conquest Domination, uh, me learning around, getting loving this bad. This is something, uh, good gun, right? Um, couldn't, I tried the 870 first, you know, because I love my 870 on the Xbox, or I did, right? Uh, so I tried the Spaz on this thing. Didn't like it, or no, I didn't like the 870 as much. I like the Spaz, what am I doing? So... Still getting used to the game, getting into it. Uh, I actually think that I turned over a pretty... I learned pretty qu uh, quitty quick, quitty quick. I learned pretty quick uh, how to play and um, the controls and everything. I caught on really quick, I, in my opinion. But that's me. And so, um, you think I can catch on? I thought I caught on quick. I think I've been po posting pretty good scores and stuff. Only have Conquest Domination gameplays. The one rush gameplay that I had that was good didn't record. My fault, but... Uh, this is a lot of fun. Hopefully I'll get more gameplays out some strategies. A lot of Battlefield 4 talk coming, but this is the first game. This is the first impressions, and I have to say I was blown away at the game. Fucking every time Mike came over twice over spring break, right? Um, once for our, our annual Easter egg hunt that we had, and then for game night. And he played this game both times it was over, and the day after he played it, when he was home, he, he texted me and he's like, Well, this one's for money until I get my computer, because he kept, he kept remembering that um, the first time he found out that he had a thousand dollars in the bank that he didn't know he had, and the second time he found out that his parents said they'd pay for half the computer, so he has like two thousand dollars, quote unquote, in funds for this computer. So that's a lot of money, and he's so close, and he just wants to get the game and the and the computer so bad. Um, I think that's kind of funny, and it's kind of it's kind of cool that he's so close, and that you know he he really he really does deserve it. He's he's um he works his butt off, you know, but I think. I think that um, when we when we talk about next gen, there's gonna be a lot of stuff probably about that coming up. But I want to mention it now. When I think of a console, when it comes to Xbox, PS3, I think of the social aspect of it because that's where Corey and Mike are, and I am at the same time. You know, if Mike and Corey had a PC, and we're always like, instead of us saying let's go play Minecraft on Xbox, for example, because we don't want to have the competitive and the tryhardiness of Call of Duty, but we want to go in and just talk because that's usually what we do now when we play video games it's not about even like playing the games because lately when i've been going on with Corey and stuff we just play uh what's the game that one game um that one game minecraft yeah that one game called minecraft and we play that game and we just play minecraft and talk it's mainly about the social aspect of talking to Corey every once in a while more or less than the actual game itself and if we all had gaming pcs or if Corey actually had a computer that worked and Mike's computer was in his basement where he could just hop on it whenever and not have to worry about sharing it or, you know, resetting himself up with his headphones and everything, the PC and for us three would be a social thing. And we would say PC instead of uh, console or uh, PC not next gen because the consoles is a more affordable, it's the social aspect of the consoles that, in my opinion, draws them into everyone's, um, it's what makes them popular to everyone. The social aspect of it, and I think that that's I think that's a good thing, right? I think that it gives a console an edge because, like I like I think the specs for the consoles will be outdated in a couple months after the release of them anyway, so I wouldn't worry about that at all, or not in months, but like a year or two, it'll they'll be they'll be gone and uh, out of circuitry or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But um, it's it's about the social aspect of it, and the social aspect of gaming is one of the reasons why I'm still in it. But I've been having a lot of fun with the PC stuff. The Let's Plays, I feel, have been going fucking fantastic. I love my every week, the hour session uh, that I do. Actually, it's more like an hour and a half to hour, 15 minute session. But where I get five episodes done and we get a decent amount of things done in the game. I'm pumping through Medal of Honor like finger snaps. It's going fucking quick. Dead Island, not so much. So I don't know if we're going to have that Let's Play done before, before Dead Island Riptide comes out. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to hop on Riptide right uh day of release and get the stuff up ASASP is in an effort to promote the content and get myself out there for that game or to just kind of wait it out a couple days but I want to get that let's play up on release uh, so we'll see what happens with that other than that you know Medal of Honor I feel is going to be wrapping up in the next week or two so fucking don't know what game I'm going to do after that maybe I'll do some sniper elite haven't quite decided yet 
So I'm trying to keep the one zombie game kind of instead of like going to play Left 4 Dead. Even though those games aren't really, I, I don't think, that long. But I have to beat the first Left 4 Dead and whatnot. And then I'm going to do the second one right after it. So I don't know how I'm going to work that per se. So I don't, I, like, I don't know the order or whatnot of it. So that'll be interesting to see how that works. Um... Oh, here's something kind of kind of crazy that I kind of found out about the whole Xbox thing, or not Xbox, the whole PC thing. It actually is better to um, like record through like an external source, or if you're gonna use Fraps, you have to record it like in 60 FPS, so you don't have a frame rate drop. Because when you record your gameplay in Fraps for Battlefield on 30 FPS, it'll lock in and show like in your corner screen that you're getting 60 FPS and not 30. Um, so then, if you were recording 60, you'd get 90 FPS. It would lock in at that even though it records at 60. But when you record at third and you have that 60 FPS, you sometimes have a frame drop or frame freeze where you lag up every once in a while because there's kind of it's just kind of too much for the thing to handle. So you kind of I think that honestly the best idea in my mind actually that I thought about this was like my own idea. I think you buy like an Elgato, right? You get another computer. Like I could still use my laptop to capture footage. You'd get your Elgato. You'd plug it into your graphics card. You'd plug the HDMI into the Elgato to your monitor. And you record from the Elgato to like my laptop, for example, and that's it. You have no frame rate drop. You get exactly what's on the screen, just like on an Xbox. So, thanks for watching. Uh, this was a 50 and 28 Zeba Tower Conquest domination game. Like it up, like it up, like it up, and I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.